talk about Imperator. Yeah. How does it feel to be working on a new IP, new game after all these years of working with uh, add-ons and uh, add-ons and uh, follow-ups? Uh, different, weird. It's kind of like it's weird to say, okay, new game. I've, I worked a little bit with uh, Hotwire on four. At the at the time when the game were being delayed, I was working as a as a project lead in f 2015, but that was not a game I had designed. And but now it's the first time I've actually been director and designer of a game since E4, and that was released five years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's I am kind of happy and <laughs> today. Kind of happy but tired. Yeah, tired. tired. <laughs> so you've been uh, going all this day, back and forth. Uh, in years, in years, in years. Yeah. Uh, dressing up in a dress on stage. Mm. <laughs> but well, it's uh, it's hard, but you can do it once a year at least. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. So how was it? Uh, how did this project get started? When did it start and how? Uh, I can't remember when it started, but um, basically I was like, now I want to make a new game. And then like, what game do I want to make? And then before I started adding people to it, I was spending, because I, I work as a manager for game directors. These days like the creative leader paradox. Um, about half my time or a third of my time is being spent like you know people management different things the other is like I spend it looking at the games giving feedback and then I thought like well what if I start programming and designing and testing this out and then I did that for a few months and the half time I had for that and then I like okay this is gonna work out it's gonna be a, something cool uh, and then I requested a, a prototype team, well, I didn't request a prototype team because I'm in charge of assigning prototypes, but I basically put a bunch of people to help out and started going like, no, we should make a proper game out of this. And then we started getting a full team project on it. And here we are. <laughs> That's nice. So how come, how did you, how, how did this setting then come about? Okay, it was something you, wanted to do, but how did it uh, distill? The Roman time period, or uh, it's been a long time since we forked on that time period. We've been doing EU and CK, it's been alive for a while, Hot Show Iron and Space. And I was like, okay, so what shall we do as the next game? Um, I was like, okay, Rome is something I'd like to do. Uh, and the, the 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 era we actually had a good ideas for, so that's why we picked that one. It's a, you could really in the presentation you could really see it's a paradox game. It's, it's it had all the beautiful ingredients there. And yeah, it it's a it's a paradox. It's a, it's like when we're talking about imperator or imperator. It's. Uh, it has a lot of like things you recognize from other games like Web Pops, we have the characters, we have the units, and you see at the top bar like we have manpower, gold, stability, we have the minimaps, we even have pop ups. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's a paradox game. Yeah. Is there, even that you have been doing this kind, this style of grand strategy games for? Aces for decades. What kind of is there something? Uh, let's say, have you changed your design philosophy or design style at all? I don't. Tr I don't really do that. Okay. It's it gets refined. Like I, I'm a firm believer that uh, multiplayer is a great source of design uh, of balancing. I think you should always design games that you want to play yourself. You should always work at making the UI as little clicks as possible, the tooltips readable and that you understand things, and not have to go through sub-menus and so on. 
Uh, also, and those are things I've learned through these decades of developing as and has a, have those rules now. And uh, the uh, I forgot what I was trying to ask. But okay, and uh, you've been doing also some new studying. You said you, you have these huge piles of books in your office. Uh, no, it's it's at home. Oh, oh yeah, we, okay. we have lots at the office that people yeah. buy as well. But I buy lots of books because we have so many bookshelves in my house, and we built more bookshelves. So, because I, I love books, I I wish I'd, I say I wish I had more time. Well, I could take more time to read books, but I just love reading and learning things. Mm. Quite useful for journalists and game <laughs> designers yeah. as well. Yeah. So what's uh, what part of because uh, now you got back into designing a new game and uh, but you have done a lot of lots of this uh, uh, producer producer and uh, I'm and in this uh, creative direction. Yeah. What, so what do you enjoy most? What well, interest most? Yeah. I like making games. Yeah. I've been, I was studio manager for. 10 plus years. I was manager of all our studios, like having the job Matthias have now. And since then I've been like the creative direct direction person in charge of game directors, which is kind of fun, but I, I love making games the most. Yeah. So you are now really... Yeah, I'm, sti I'm, I'm, I'm still uh, happy being managing the game directors and that's what I will be doing. Uh, after, after this game is done, focus back on that again. But it's fun making a game. That's why. That's why I'm in the industry. I want to make games. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, that's the key ingredient of uh, paradox. After yeah. All, after even after being publisher and uh, digital digital publisher yeah. and uh, gamer gamers gate and so on. But then there's always this. Paradox games that are yeah. loud and played a lot. Okay, uh, I will, I missed it. you when you was in the states earlier today, right? In the yeah. workshop. Yeah. Okay, I had to leave before your presentation because yeah. I had a first interview already waiting. But what kind of? How was it? How was it getting into states and uh, telling about Imperator? It was kind of funny because as soon as we came in, we had like the trumpet sounding, and then we had some actors in uniform, or if they were models, they were like very muscled kids. I say kids; they might have been like anywhere between eighteen and twenty-five, and they were, and I was in a toga and everything, and. And as soon as we entered the room, people started sharing. And I felt like a rock star walking through a thousand ha screaming happy people going up to the main stage. And you're standing like this with the green leaves at the top and going, friends, romance, countryman, lend me your ears. And then have the trailer play. <laughs> that was fun. And they were like this sharing so much. Oh, I, I I hope the this is it's available as a video. Yeah, it it will be on YouTube and Twitch and all that, because yeah. we were live streaming it. Okay, I, I saw the soldiers, but then uh, yeah, because uh, that must have been awesome. Because the funny thing here is that uh, uh, let's say that okay, the paradox people, there's great or uh, great awesome people, and uh, some of. Some of these guys, they are really magical on stage. Yeah. But then we, we also have these, all these grand strategic games from you. Yeah. And you are the paradox rock star. <laughs> <laughs> the, the keys are of rock Yeah, star or, or uh, I mean, they, 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 if Henrik or Martin and, or Chris did the same thing for new games, they would be as shared as I would. There were a lot of people I heard they're sharing when Jake announced new expansions. and. So, <laughs> they just were happy, super happy to see a new game. Mm, especially, but I, I dare say that they are really happy, especially many of them are super happy to see a new Han Anderson game because they know definitely <laughs> that now they are getting deep into history, deep into grand strategy. It's, uh, I, feel, I feel that this is a good, great 
Yeah. Trademark, not a trademark. Yeah, trademark. a brand maybe. Brand of products, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's really nice to have you back in the front lines doing a great, uh, great game for Roman Empire. You did quite, quite a good presentation yesterday, so I don't have actual questions about the game itself. Ooh. Unless there is something you would like to tell freely. Uh, if you had asked me earlier this morning, I would have more stuff to tell. <laughs> but, but now it's like my brain's fried. What I was, what I was said, what have happened? Yeah, <laughs> I'm blank. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay.